in this example here, we see the letter N. Now, it's very easy to change the weight uh, in a program like Adobe Illustrator by simply adding a stroke to it. Notice, though, that we have changed the height of the character, which we may not have intended to do. Uh, generally speaking, when you change the weight of a type or you make it heavier, you don't want to change the height. In this example, we've added even more weight to the character, uh, but we can see that in addition to adding more height to the character, we're also modifying the original DNA and the fact that this white space, this beautiful white shape where the branch of the end merges into the stem is moving further up and up and up until at some point it will practically disappear. Even in, in sans serif type, which we often refer as same weight type, there, it is not the same weight. And the more weight you add to the type, the more contrast there should be in the weight where the branch merges into the stem versus the vertical parts of the character. That, none of that is happening in these examples. This is why you do not use the computer to change the weight. A lettering artist will make it look like this. Here we see the same amount of weight added to the character, but the height has not changed and the contrast in the area where the stem merges with the branch is getting thinner and thinner proportionately the more weight you add to the type. And just as importantly, the point where the branch merges to the stem is not elevating or getting lower. It stays in the very same location.